Hey there everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid update of my Paphio Petalum. As you guys can see my Paphio Petalum is in full bloom. And another awesome feature of this orchid is the fact that not only is it in bloom but it also has another bud that soon will come into bloom as well. Now the Paphio Petalum that I have unfortunately is not a mottled leaf variety because the mottled leaf variety of the Paphio Petalum is very attractive and tropical looking. But folks, I'm not too upset. As a matter of fact, I am a happy camper because as you can see, the foliage on this orchid is very full and you can see many, many new growths and fans throughout this orchid, which the foliage actually provides a very attractive and beautiful backdrop to this very unique looking orchid. Now the Paphio Petalum that I have is actually a cross between a Yerba Buena and also a Spice Seranium. And looking at the orchid blossom, you can actually see both attributes and genetic features of both parents. The Yerba Buena is actually an alba form of Paphio Petalum where the entire blossom is green and white. And the Spiceranium is also green and white, but it has maroon throughout the blossom. And looking at this blossom, you can see, of course, the greens and the white. And also throughout, you will notice this tinge of maroon throughout this blossom as well. And looking closer at this pollen cap right here, you will notice this distinctive fuchsia line that is a characteristic and also a trademark of the Spiceranium. Now there are some people that actually confuse the Paphio Petalum as a carnivorous plant because of the pitcher-like pouch that it has. But in actual reality folks, this pouch is only used to attract insects into coming into the pouch in hopes of pollinating this orchid. And looking inside of the pouch of the Paphio Petalum, you will notice that there is no type of contraption in there that would hold the insect. As a matter of fact, there are several openings within this pouch that would allow the insect to easily escape. So that is not at all a purpose of this plant. It is not an insect eating plant at all. What I love most about this orchid blossom is the frill that it has and the curvature that is shown throughout its side petals. And also again, the trademark of that distinctive line right here on the cap. It makes for such a wonderful, beautiful, unique looking blossom. And as I mentioned before, this is a cross between the Yerba Buena and also the Spiceranium, which the Yerba Buena is actually a warm growing orchid and the Spiceranium is a cold growing orchid. So what do we do with the orchid if it has such a variety of different temperatures? Well, in my case, what I like to do is I'll take the medium of both. So in this case, this Paphio Petalum, I would put in a medium type of lighting similar to what a Phalaenopsis would grow in. One very important thing to note about the Paphio Petalum, especially grown in nature, is that this is a terrestrial orchid, meaning that it grows ground level within a rainforest or a jungle-like habitat. And as you guys know, as growing in ground level, that means there are several layers of vegetation and canopies that actually protect this and keep this from a whole lot of light. So the type of lighting this would receive in nature would actually be a lot of shading or perhaps dappled light, but definitely not full light. And also as a terrestrial orchid, that means this grows in soil. But please don't get it misunderstood that this can be grown in any type of soil because found in the jungle or in the rainforest, the type of soil that it would receive is very nutritious soil because within that soil is going to be a lot of decayed vegetation, decayed animal matter, twigs and leaves. So definitely it's gonna be an airy type of substance and also again a very nutritious type of soil.
And also note, because this is a ground growing orchid at ground level, that the water that this is going to be receiving is actually lots of it. Because within that canopy is going to be contained a lot of humidity and also a lot of moisture, fog, and mist, which will allow this orchid to continuously be moist. So unlike a lot of orchids, this Paphiopedilum should never be allowed to go dry because it could prove to be fatal for this orchid. I am very, very happy and pleased to receive this beautiful Paphiopedilum. And I really enjoy this blossom because of its uniqueness. It definitely is a standout orchid, does not mimic any other orchid. It definitely has a position within the orchid realm. And one of the greatest things I love about this orchid is the fact that it is so fuzzy, has a lot of fuzz, a lot of texture, and also you can find this with all sorts of patterns and colors and is just so beautiful and unique. So definitely I am a Paphio Pedalum fan. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure and spending time with me and my Papio Petalum. Thank you guys so much and please stay tuned for more. And folks, how could you ever resist this sweet smiling face? She is just absolutely adorable and also with her fabulous nurse's cap. Definitely stylish, wouldn't you say? And of course, check out that frilly hairdo that she has. Oh wow, just an awesome orchid. And look at her. Oh, she's smiling at you guys. She loves you. Indeed, my Paphio Pedalum. Such a loving gal.